think it's very instructive to look at Remax in a lot of ways um, and think about Redfin, and, and here's why. Uh, Remax was sort of the disruptor of this industry like 40 years ago. So Remax started in the 1970s. Um, they grew like a weed for four decades. Um, and in a lot of ways, I think uh, Remax has some pretty, instruct, pretty good uh, instructive lessons uh, for people sort of thinking about Redfin today. Um, and we sort of compare that on, on 66. Uh, the point I will make, and I'm going to come back to this, is that it took Remax 40 years to get to 10% market share. Um, and that is important. That matters. So now let's talk about Redfin's valuation. And, and this is a gigantic component of why we don't like this stock. Uh, it's not that we think Redfin's a bad company. On the contrary, I actually think it's a pretty good company, uh, pretty decently run, certainly innovative and, and creative. Um, it's just that I think the, the current valuation has priced in an incredible assumption around its future growth uh, and what that is going to look like relative to what I think is possible. Um, so on slide 68, um, it's funny, I said earlier that when I first started looking at this company, I was bullish. Um, and I stayed that way literally until I put together this, this slide. I was curious, um, and I said, you know, what is the market share of these other big heavyweights, right? The other two publicly traded companies, Realogy and Remax. And so Realogy uh, has 15 and a quarter percent market share. Remax has 11 percent market share. And Redfin has 37 basis points of market share. And that's 2016 unit volume. If you dollar weight the fact that they operate primarily in higher value markets, that number is bigger. It's like 55, 56 basis points. But the point is, it's around a half a percent or less. Um, now let's look at their market valuations. So Realogy is 4.7 billion. Remax is a little over 1 billion. And Redfin is 2 billion. Uh, in spite of being 37 basis points of market share. So they have different models, yes. The funny thing is they have very different margin profiles. Uh, Redfin is actually much more an analog to Realogy's model than it is to Remax's, and that's because Remax is a franchise-only model and has 50% EBITDA margins. Realogy is actually a hybrid uh, of owned brokerages in its NRT business and franchise model in its RFG business. Uh, and it has um, low teens uh, margins. Uh, Redfin has negative margins. Uh, but ultimately, Redfin, I think, is going to evolve into a model that looks a lot like Realogy. And that's why this, the comparison between market share and market cap is so stark. Uh, because if you were to basically apply Realogy's uh, valuation for its market share, and I know Redfin's growing faster, but we're going to explain why you shouldn't be overly excited about that in a minute. Uh, but if you were to apply this ratio of market cap to uh, market share, or the other way around, uh, to Redfin, uh, basically you would end up with roughly 1 30th of uh, Realogy's valuation, uh, which is something on the order of half a million dollars, or half a billion dollars. Uh, as compared with Redfin's current valuation of $2 billion.